You can see behind us we're knocking down the bridge and that'll make way for a new 5,000 feet show court right behind us here. And over to our right we have uh, the function centre which is being demolished and that'll be the new function centre broadcast studios and media areas uh, linking into the new RLA player pod. If the new show court, the new function centre is anything like the new player pod that was open for last year's Australian Open, this precinct which is already clearly and comfortably uh, the preeminent one amongst the four Grand Slams will be even better uh, and, a, and, a, and an even greater experience for the hundreds of thousands of people who come here during the tennis and the more than two and a half million that are here for the rest of the year. From our perspective we want it to be a really iconic design and, and a new something that their fans and, and people of Melbourne can be really proud of. It'll be used on a year-round basis uh, both uh, for the tennis and for other activities, so it'll be a great new space for Melbournians right throughout the year and including the Australian Open. But with the growth that we've had over the last few years, I think it's really important that the site grows to expand and cater for that. We've had growth in our, obviously our music, our kids' areas, our food, um, and we want uh, the fans to have a really comfortable experience on site. I'm a low-vis minister. I've had a high-vis day. It's big for me. I don't get out much. So thank you to everyone who's created that opportunity for me to be here. Thank you.